In Canada, there is considerable legislation that regulates the purchase, possession and use of firearms. All Canadians are subject to these regulations. Nevertheless, the Aboriginal Peoples of Canada Adaptations Regulations establishes special rules applicable to Indigenous persons. True or false, the Firearm Act does not apply to Indigenous persons. False. The Firearm Act applies to all Canadians, including Indigenous persons. The Aboriginal Peoples of Canada Adaptations Regulations only allows for certain adaptations which facilitate the issuance of the firearms license. These adaptations exist because the Indigenous peoples possess specific ancestral and treaty rights, including being able to hunt on certain lands. The courts have recognized that too difficult an access to firearms could infringe upon these rights. Further, the government will also consider the geographic isolation of the communities and the special characteristics of the Indigenous peoples. To own or acquire a firearm in Canada, a person must have a firearms license. True or false, the firearms license allows you to carry a firearm with you at all times. False. Possessing a firearm does not mean carrying it on your person. It simply means that it belongs to you. The Possession and Acquisition License, also known as PAL, is accessible to persons age 18 and over. To obtain this permit, the applicant must successfully complete the Canadian Firearms Safety Course. True or false, the Possession and Acquisition License has an expiration date. True. A license has an expiration date. Normally, it is valid for a period of five years. A minor's license expires once the young person reaches the age of 18 or three years after its issuance, whichever comes first. A minor between the ages of 12 and 17 years old who has successfully completed his firearm safety course can obtain a license. This license allows a minor to use a rifle or a shotgun but does not allow him to acquire or personally own a firearm. A young person between the age of 12 and 17 years old and not holding a license can handle and use a firearm if he is under the direct and immediate supervision of the firearms license holder. The RCMP explains that as a general rule, this means that the license holder must be close enough to the minor so that the adult is able to intervene quickly in order to prevent any unsafe or illegal use of the firearm. According to the Aboriginal Peoples of Canada Adaptations Regulations, an Indigenous person who wants to benefit from the various accommodations available must meet certain conditions. He must be a member of one of the Indigenous peoples of Canada, be a member of an Indigenous community, and be engaged in the traditional hunting practices of his community. According to this regulation, an Indigenous person can retain the services of an interpreter to complete the application form for the license. A minor of less than 12 years old can, with the authorization of his parents, apply for a firearms license if he is engaged in traditional hunting practices according to the traditions of his community. If the Canadian Firearm Safety Course is not reasonably accessible in terms of time, location or cost, an Indigenous person can request an alternative safety certificate. Possessing and handling a firearm is a serious responsibility. Not only do you have to respect the different laws and regulation, but if you don't respect them, you could possibly commit a criminal offense, be charged and convicted. A person commits a criminal offense if they aim a firearm, loaded or not, in the direction of a person, do not have a license and have in their possession a firearm, 
do not respect the rules regarding the storage of firearms, use, handle, or store a firearm in a negligent manner or without ensuring the safety of others. According to the Storage, Display, Transportation and Handling of Firearms by Individuals Regulations, a person who possesses a firearm must store his unloaded firearm locked with a secure device such as a bolt, a safety cable, or otherwise store it in a locked receptacle. The ammunition must not be kept close to the firearm unless it is also in a locked container. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police reminds us of four essential rules concerning the handling of firearms. Handle your firearm as if it were loaded. Always point your firearm in a safe direction. Keep the finger far from the trigger. Ensure that the firearm does not contain any ammunition. <laughs>